Simmons people here could use a little hope. But we're one of those hopes. We're hoping that people can pay attention to a sustainable economy that we can get on today. And so there's many different paths that can be taken uh, uh, simultaneously. So you don't have to have just one goal. Um, I would like this to come out of this, is that we learn to love each other, we learn to take care of each other, we learn to work together, and we learn to express our individuality. And I help cook food and prepare food and organize the tents and all that. And actually, as a fact, we are the best kitchen of all occupations that just came in today, I think. This is a perfect example of true democracy. People are going to be talking, education is going to be ball rolling for real change down the road. I want people to be safe when they're nice to each other. I'm sorry it sounds so simplistic and goofy. And for me, one of the most important things about this movement is 99% have access to decent health care. Everybody get decent quality medical care. The movement makes the issues in our society public. What I don't want to see happen is for this to get co-opted by the Democrats or the Republicans. Most people see what's going on, the 99%, and they understand that we're a very rich country and things have not been going in the right direction. But what I'd like to see next is I'd like people to hang on and let the basic message of the 99% sink in and not get co-opted by anybody else's message. And if they do that, more and more people will come to it. Symmetric wealth distribution rather than asymmetric wealth distribution. The rich in this country are enjoying almost all of the profit. An economic system that was based on pure capitalism. It is no longer serving the common people of the United States. It is time to revisit our current economic model and produce one that is in the welfare and benefit of the broader population. We cannot allow corporate America to do the ecological damage they are currently doing to our world. Every day I work, I see people who can't afford their housing, their education, let alone their health care. I see people dying and sick, waiting and waiting to come into the hospital. I want to see free health care for all. Hey, I don't think that anything will happen by within a reasonable time frame because we'll be subjected to the process that has failed over and over again the level of corruption. Ultimately what I would like to see come out of this movement is a bit of momentum to enlighten us just a little bit. Shelter, food, clothing, all the basic human rights just for being born a human. Homelessness is not a crime. At Occupy Portland the world is asking us, if you are so smart, what do you want us to do? This is a good first step. Pull your money out of corporate banks that use it for evil. A lot of our food comes from corporate vacations and it's not really healthy. It's something that fills your belly, but it's nothing that actually makes you feel any better overall. I don't give a fuck about how this affects the government, the rich people and corporations. I really don't care. Because here's my beliefs. I believe in complete abolishment of all government, of all politics, and of all corporations. I believe in abolishment of the police and abolishment of the army. I believe in state militia and people elected by the people to lead council in our state capital and in our outlying counties. I want to see Americans participating in their democracy and educating themselves. But capitalism is pretty dangerous without regulation because it's not democratic. It's controlled by the few and the masses are kind of stuck with whatever the few want to give them. So a little scratch and that's how we got in the situation we're in.